What we are now going to talk about is how to create a simple plot. And most of the power of MATLAB is the ability to visualize both simple and very complex functions. I can produce two-dimensional and three-dimensional graphics which, with very complex color maps. What we're going to be talking about is something very simple this time. For example, we want to plot a sine of t from 0 to 2 pi. We know how to create that. Now we want to plot that. And what we're going to do is we're going to type x equals, again, 0, colon, 0 0.01 times pi, which is the increment, colon, to 2 times pi. And remember that semicolon. If you don't, you're going to be having a lot of screen usage. We're now going to type in a function y. And we're going to just simply say it's sine of t. And we're going to, again, use a semicolon and enter. Now, why did I get an error? Think about it. If you look at the window, I use a variable t, but what happened is I decided in the beginning to use x. It is a very common mistake that I did on purpose to show you that sometimes you're going to use the wrong variables. How can I change the x to a t? I use the up arrow key. And what I can do is bring up the first line, change that to an x, click outside, hit enter. Now I have t. I bring up, use the up arrow key again, which is Y, and now it's going to be good, so I just hit enter. I could, if I want to, since X was a, an error, click here and simply delete that variable. Now, how do I plot? I'm just going to say plot, parenthesis, and you notice it's sort of giving you little hints. In this new version, it gives you, shows you what that function looks like. And I'm going to simply say I want to look at the x-axis, which is what this is saying first, which is t. I'm going to do a comma. And then I want to look at the y-axis, which happens to be y, and parenthesis. This time, I'm not going to use a semicolon, because when I hit Enter, what is going to happen is I'm going to get a window with the actual plot. And you notice it goes through 0 to 2 pi. We can modify this plot, which we'll see in subsequent vid videos. We can copy this to a word, which we'll see in the subsequent videos. We can do a lot of things. But what we're going to do now is click back in the command window, and I'm going to create another function. I'm going to say z equals cosine of t. And again, remember that semicolon. In this case, I'm going to type in plot. The x-axis is still t. But now the variable I want to plot is z. And when I hit Enter, the plot window will not pop up again. It's down here, so I click. And sure enough, this is cosine. Let's click back in the command window. And you say, well, gee, I really like to actually plot both sine and cosine. Is there a way of doing that? And the way to do that is we're going to either invoke the command, or we can actually create a function for that command. But we'll just type in plot. And what we're going to do is type in time and y as if we were plotting sine but now we can click comma and we can type in another time and z so every time you want to plot multiple plots you do the x-axis which in this case is t the y-axis which is either y or z and then repeat that and then we'll do a parenthesis and we'll hit enter and when we click on figure one you notice we have the sine, and we have the cosine. And now again, we could process it, copy it, do anything we want to do. 
that is how you can plot in MATLAB.